Deriving a rule. Okay, suppose that Q is equal to A. Delta Q over Q, the fractional uncertainty for Q, is equal to delta A over A. If I write Q is equal to A to the power of 2, so I can write A to the power of 2 is equal to A times A. And so delta Q over Q is delta A over A plus, again, delta A over A. So this is 2 times delta A over A. It seems that the exponent here comes as a multiplier. Okay. What if Q is A to the power of 3? Okay. I can rewrite it as A times A times A, triple A. And so the answer is 3 times delta A over A. Again, the exponent comes here as a multiplier. So the general rule could be derived like this. Q is equal to A to the power of N. N is any positive or negative exponent. And so delta Q over Q, the uncertainty for Q, is equal to absolute value of N times delta A over A. Delta A over A is fractional uncertainty for A, and N is the exponent. Okay. The quantity Q depends on the measured value A in the following way. Let's have some examples to learn it completely. Q is equal to A to the power of 2. Suppose the relation is this. And A is equal to 10.0 plus or minus uh, 0 0.3. 0 0.3 here plays the role of the absolute uncertainty for A. Find the value of Q and its uncertainty. Uncertainty means uh, here the absolute uncertainty. Okay. First, the value. So I substitute the value of A in Q. Then I rewrite it as 10 times 10. Pay attention here. Uh, mathematically, the answer is 100. And physically, of course, it is the same because every term here has uh, three significant figures. And so the answer must have three significant figures. OK. So let's remind you uh, the general rule. Q is equal to A to the power of N. So delta Q over Q is equal to N times delta A over how much is the n here? n is evidently 2. So I can write delta Q over Q is equal to 2 times delta A over A. I substitute the values and uh, be informed that um, delta Q is my goal. Okay. The value of Q is here, 100. Delta A is here, 0 0.3. And A has the value of 10.0. I substitute all the values here, and they are, then I find delta Q is equal to 6. Okay, so I can write Q is equal to 100 plus or minus 6. Okay, let's go ahead by, by another example. Here the quantity Q depends on the measured value B in the following way. Q is equal to 1 over B squared, inverse of B squared. B is equal to 3.0 plus or minus 0 0.2. Find the value of Q and its uncertainty. Again, first, I, the first step should be finding the value. Q is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 2. If you use a calculator, you can find 0 0.11. And uh, it may have some more figures but I take only two significant figures because uh, here I have only two significant figures okay here I remind you again the relation but how much is the n here Q could be rewritten as b to the power of negative 2 so n is negative 2 okay but uh, at the right side side of this relation it's not important at all because it's absolute value. So, for finding delta Q, again I write delta Q over Q is equal to 2 times delta B over B. 2 uh, is the absolute value of negative 2. Okay, I substitute the values. Q is here. How much is a Q? Q is 0 0.11. Uh, delta B is 0 0.2 here. And B here, 3.0. I substitute all the values and the calculation results delta Q is equal to 0 
Again, it may have some more figures, but I take only one significant figure for my answer. Why? Because the minimum number of significant figures here is one. And so in multiplication and division, the, the least number of value of significant figures is the number of significant, significant figures in the answer. Okay, so here I substitute the value for the uncertainty and Q is equal to 0 0.11 plus or minus 0 0.01. Another example, the quantity Q depends on the measured values A and B in the following way. Suppose that Q is equal to A squared over B squared. The value of Q and A, a and its uncertainty and the value of B and its uncertainty is given here. Find the value of Q and its uncertainty again. The value of Q is the first step. I substitute the values. Pay attention that here the minimum number of significant figures is 2, but the answer automatically, even based on the calculator, has only two significant figures and it's okay. 25. Okay. Let's go ahead by finding the fractional uncertainty and at last the absolute uncertainty for Q to be added here to this answer. Okay, delta Q over Q is equal to 2 times delta A over A plus 2 times delta B over B according to the previous examples. Okay, substitute the values. How much is the Q here? Q is 25. Delta A is here, 5. A is here, 100. Delta B is 2 and B is 20. So I substitute the values and find the final answer. Pay attention here, I, sh I can show you something. Delta Q over 25 is equal to this 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. Then I add these two values at the right side, 0 0.3, and then Delta Q is equal to 7.5. But pay attention. The rightmost figure of Q is 5. The order is 1s. And so, if you add the uncertainty to that value, necessarily the uncertainty at the rightmost figure must have the order of 1s. Here, 7.5 has at the right figure as the, the, the order of 10s. It's not accepted. So I round it up because 5 and greater than 5 is going to be rounded up. And so 7.5 is rounded up to 8. And the last answer will be 25 plus or minus 8.